So this is the Dune de Pila. It's on the west coast of France. It's super smooth air, so it's easy to safely fly close to the ground. We can drag our feet, we can glide up and down along the sand and just play with the currents. The sea breeze comes in, pushes up against the dune, and just allows you to stay airborne for hours. You can stay one meter off the ground and just hover and just kind of float back and forth. It's a great place for beginners because, I mean, even I took my first flight yesterday and it was beautiful. You could just soar and stay in the air. The only thing you really need to keep your eyes out for when you're sunbathing is the wings overhead. You hear like a flapping noise and then somebody comes down to swoop something off of your picnic. <laughs> I so wasn't ready for that. <laughs> I'm a professional flyer. Soaring is airwave uh, fly. To make soaring, we need heel and onshore uh, wind. And waga, it's a radical part. We make maneuvers close to the ground. We, we try to attack all the time the planet. <laughs> to practice the waga, we fly when it's more windy, so we need special stuff like small size and more fast. It's like the freestyle close to the ground. Okay, waga is not a trick, it's more kind of fly. You touch the tips on the right, on the left, there is the what we call the misty. It's like an helicopter, the, the wing will turn above uh, your head quickly. We have the barefoot. Basically, it's your glider is flying above your head. Put your foot on the sand and you try to slide all the time. The wing overs, the death spiral, but finally, all the tricks, it's just playing. If you, you play close to a tree or on the hill, um, no matter. I mean, this is Waga, no? it's really freestyle. After a bit of practice, you can actually balance for several seconds on the very top of the tree. is the biggest uh, dune in Europe. It's 110 meters, it's concave and the dune is like 7 kilometers. On the south part you can find a vertical hill and take uh, altitude easily. So we're at the farthest end of the dune de Pila. This is about as far as we could soar along the cliffs. We found some really large blocks of concrete and it's a really good playground for kiting and practicing your climbing skills with the glider overhead. Big June is wild. There is nothing. You can't fly so high, but you can play close to the ground all the time because there is nothing, nothing, just you and the sun.